Today on 10 Minute IT Jams, we have Nico Polivinen, who is the COO of Logmore. So Logmore is a company specializing in shipment condition monitoring using an in-house cloud service and QR code tags. So with its specialization in temperature monitoring for food and pharmaceuticals, the company is keeping busy with COVID-19 vaccine shipments. So welcome to the jam, Nico. Thank you. Pleasure to be here. Cool. So, uh, so first off, could you just give me a brief overview of what Logmore is all about and how do you use technology to distribute the COVID-9 vaccines in the cold chain? Yeah, yeah, sure. So Logmore is all about uh, making uh, this global supply chains transparent by collecting data like temperature, humidity, shocks and, and all that and combining that into the cloud platform for easy analysis. So it's basically like um, uh, on two levels, you get the individual shipments, you need to know on each shipment that it's, is the product still usable? Is it good? And then you have like the macro level where you need to know like on general, how are you doing? Is there any like processes, any, any risk uh, locations that you would need to worry about? And uh, with our combination of hardware and software, we're able to do this uh, data collection uh, much more efficiently than ever before. Um, and with the COVID vaccines, the level of planning, the amount of hardware upgrades um, that the world public health institutions um, and pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical companies have undertaken is um, pretty mind boggling. So what are the biggest mistakes you're seeing from these companies and how do they avoid those mistakes? Yeah, well, in, in general, I, I, I have to say that uh, like uh, under these circumstances, everyone is doing actually like really good. Like the, the world has never ever seen anything like this. Like the, um, the volume of especially this uh, dry ice, like uh, extreme cold minus 70 degrees Celsius shipments. Uh, it's, it's like hundreds and hundreds of times larger than, than it's like it's been before uh, because the Pfizer vaccine requires such uh, really low temperatures. So it's um, like in, in, in general, uh, things are going really well. Um, but what is like from, from my perspective, looking into the industry, the, the challenges are maybe relating to the like, um, the, the like end to end um, visibility and transparency, like, uh, because supply chains are often really complicated like there are multiple operators you 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 take the plane to take the shipment from a to b but from the, uh from there you need to take a truck then you may need some warehousing and all all that and often there's different companies managing these different uh stages in the in the supply chain and uh yeah combining to, to information and knowledge and the data of all of these uh, phases, it's, it's, it's really challenging. And, and uh, uh, like of, often the, the uh, companies use like dif different uh, like temperature monitoring systems and the, the, the data isn't really like um, combined into like any uh, like holistic view of, of these shipments. Mm. And um. What other industries and product categories do you see um, growth in with the cold chain and increase in demand for logistics condition monitoring? Well, I like I, th I think it's it's coming everywhere. Uh, like we we do have like uh, for example here in Finland. Uh, even even like uh, local pharmacies are setting up uh, e-commerce stores because like that's that's especially covid like uh, boosted this this trend to be online and and these are also some shipments that need to be like monitored all the way to the consumer so it's completely like a new level to this pharmaceutical industry and on the other hand like um at like uh, other end of the spectrum of what kind of like goods are being transported there, uh, we have seen like a really strong trend of like high tech <coughs> electronics, like fragile machines and, and, and stuff like that, especially like uh, industrial electronics. Uh, 
at the, the need for measuring, uh, especially temperature, humidity, and shocks is really in, in, in rise. Right, yeah. And um, so your QR code solution is kind of central to your um, offering. So could you tell me a little bit more about that? Um, what are the advantages? Um, how did you develop it? That sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, sure. So yeah, the, the dynamic QR code idea was actually like the initial innovation we built a wall company like on top of uh, my my friend and co-founder aunt got the idea and um, that's that's how we got started we we wanted to make it uh, in, into this product and in, in, into this solution that uh, helps the world to to monitor these things um, basically we started with like as as every company does with uh, like um, proof of concept devices the first ones were like really big <laughs> and it took us some some time to get into like the current format which is pretty pretty small um but uh yeah it's it's been um, like three years of development both on hardware and software side we have had to come up with like pretty novel solutions um especially on the software side to be able to like maximize the battery life into like four years um, which has been especially uh, difficult with the, the like room we we have in the in the device. Um, but yeah, it's um, the, the QR code itself. It's it's dynamic, meaning that uh, it actually changes over time. So that's like the unique innovation. It it encodes and 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 encrypts the measurement data into the QR code. So. It's, it's just a standard QR code, but it's changing. So it's able to embed more data into it. Cool. Um, and so most supply chain data log systems use black box um, proprietary, proprietary database ticks, um, whereas you guys offer APIs that allow your customers to integrate their logistics condition readings um, with whatever platforms they like. So. What are the benefits of that particular offering um, and how does it change the norms of quality assurance and data transparency? Yeah, well, that's that's an interesting question. Um, like, well, basically today, like any new software or platform you're developing, kind of it, it needs to be integratable into the existing solutions because standalone systems are not really like efficient especially in larger organizations where you need to like have access management and all, all that so being able to actually pull the data from our platform into let's say sap or other erp systems or like logistics management systems it really helps the um, especially enterprises to be able to like utilize the data much more than just like um, as a standalone product or on the other hand it uh, it also will enable like uh, much more like deeper analytics because the api goes both ways so it's it's possible to also like um, include more data like metadata around the measurement information let's say like shipment tracking information like where is the shipment going and where when was it at the uh, here and there and like uh, maybe even combining in, in near future things like uh, weather forecasts and, and stuff like that which will um, enable much more like complex um, reports and, and analytics so you can actually find the uh, like processes and, and things you need to consider and, and make better. Awesome. Cool. Well, um, finally, uh, if a prospective client or uh, enterprise end user wanted to get in touch with you guys, what's the best way? Well, um, go to logmore.com. Uh, we actually just launched our new front page. So I, I really hope you like it. <laughs> so uh, you're able to find a like virtual demo there. You can actually see how the, uh, the devices and the cloud work uh, like there in, in real time. You can play around with it and uh, yeah, just uh, get in touch.
through the website. Perfect, cool. Um, well, that concludes today's 10 minute IT jam with Logmore COO, Nico Polibinen. Thank you so much for joining me today, Nico. Yeah, thank you.